What's going on guys, Vic BP back for another Game Case Arcade video. On this one today we are talking PlayStation 3 emulation. Uh, so real quick, you'll definitely take a look right now. I am in kind of game capture, screen capture mode. I figure for this video and many of the next videos as far as gameplay, it's just going to be much nicer looking and easier looking uh, to look at the games and gameplay in a screen capture mode kind of setup instead of going, you know, with the camera above. Um, these games, mostly we are using the Xbox controllers. I do have Eugene's bar top literally right next to me uh, and such. So... Uh, the big thing, uh, we're going to discuss a couple of things. Um, right now, I am utilizing the Xbox controller to navigate hyperspin. Uh, you could use either the controller or the uh, actual arcade sticks to navigate hyperspin. But just real quick, so Eugene knows, there's a couple buttons to know. It's very easy when you are using the Xbox controller. Basically, I am using the D-pad to navigate. And there's only two other buttons you need. A button is the long press so you need to hold it down for three seconds and that's an enter button and then r2 hold it down for three seconds and that's the exit button so i do have all my drives now set up where you do have to kind of long press enter and exit uh it's just a nice little feature it's very easy and such so just keep that in mind the big thing is that i launched hyperspin with my xbox controller on so the Xbox controller was on before Hyperspin launched, so it automatically recognizes the Xbox controllers first, and then the arcade sticks after. So if you have two Xbox controllers on, it recognizes the arcade sticks as players three and four. Just something you can think about. You could also start Hyperspin without the Xbox controller on, and then once you launch the emulator, you could turn the controller on, and then it will work accordingly, so there's no need to worry about that. Um, real quick though, before we even start uh, PlayStation 3 emulation and gameplay, I have to answer a very frequent question I keep getting is, people keep asking me, Vic, is PS3 emulation worth it? Is it worth getting right now? Um, in all honesty, if it was me, I would say yes. Uh, and I'm going to teach you a couple things. I'm going to show you a couple things uh, to kind of make you know your decision. You make the call. I am a very firm believer that you do need a great PC to run this. Xbox 360 and the Nintendo Switch. You do need a great PC. I have not tried this emulation on the Budget Beast. I will later on, but right now I have not tried it. Keep in mind, again, this 40 terabyte beast, Eugene purchased high-end PC components. I mean, you could go back to the build there and you could see how much he spent on it. I'm a firm believer that you do need great PC components to run emulators like this. But on the contrary... There is a big thing also as far as the emulation itself. PlayStation 3 emulation right now is not perfect. It's still in the works. So you must keep that in mind. Um, so basically what I'm going with this is that I'm going to show you a very important website that you should definitely check out before even making a call. I'm going to exit Hyperspin. And I have right now the website to the actual emulator that is in use. The emulator is used. It's called RPCS3. That's the only PS3 emulator out right now. And they do have a compatibility list. Basically, this list will show you what specific games are playable and which ones are not. Um, I definitely highly suggest you do check this out. This list is amazing, especially if you are looking to play specific games. I want to play God of War 3. If you know you're that type of person that wants to play a specific game, do yourself a favor, go to this website, and then look up if that game is even playable. Um, so if you can see real quick, all in all, there's 3,152 games. This emulator runs PlayStation Network games and the actual Blu-ray disc. Um, so it is PSN games and the actual PS3 games. Out of this whole entire game list, only 1,853 are playable. I don't mean only as if it's nothing. I mean, you're talking 1,800 games are playable. The rest, anytime you see an in-game, intro, or loadable most likely is an error. It, won't, it will either not launch or there's going to be a certain part in the game that will kind of make it kind of cancel out and brick out. Or it might be just slow in general. Um, so again, I highly suggest you check out this compatibility list. And you'll be able to see everything here. You could even search for your specific game title. So for me, I'm a big God of War fan. So I'm just going to type in God of War or God of, and it's going to give me 
all the games that have the words God of in it. So as you can see right here, the big thing here, you can see the PlayStation logo. That's a PSN game. And again, on my Hyperspin drive, I do have PSN and PS3. They are two separate wheels. Um, again, the PlayStation logo is PSN. And then the actual disc is an actual Blu-ray disc. So I remember PS3, God of War 3 was a big game. And unfortunately, it looks like there's an in-game error on this one. So it's not totally going to work. It might work. It might launch. It might not. Again, it is kind of a risk you take. There is a way to kind of like look at what people say because it will load up like a GitHub. Uh, and basically, it'll kind of tell you what people's searches are and what you know kind of things and headaches they get. Um, I know the Xenia for Xbox 360, I know that compatibility list is a little bit more nicer, meaning a lot of people actually post like the errors that they're getting and such. So again, I highly suggest you go and check out the compatibility list for the specific games you are looking to play. For this video, I did want to play The Last of Us because there is The Last of Us 2. If I look up The Last, let's see. See, we have here The Last of Us, and it looks like it's an in-game error. So I wouldn't even bother, honestly, loading it up. Um, I was trying to look for games um, that are basically, you know, very notorious for the PlayStation. So I do want to aim for PlayStation 3 games that, you know, are very well known. Um, I was looking at a list. They had Little Big Planet, Metal Gear. Uh, one game I remember playing, and it was actually a release of the PlayStation, was uh, Resistance, um, Fall of Man. Um, so let's just see real quick. So basically, I want to play Resistance. I'm going to look up right here to see if it's even playable. So Resistance, Fall of Man, the actual PlayStation 3 Blu-ray is marked as playable. So that's a great sign. So right now, I'm going to launch Hyperspin. And again, I have my Xbox controller on. And the big thing I do want to show... I'm just going to lower the game audio real quick. So the big thing I do want uh, people to understand, and you have to understand as far as the emulator, uh, real quick, let's first go into the game, and I'll explain what I mean by this. Um, basically, again, we're going to go through it. I'm going to hold right on the D-pad, and I'm going to go to R. I'm going to hold A, and then we're going to look for... Whoops. I pressed the left, I'm sorry. I'm going to go down, and we're going to look for Resistance Fall of Man. And again, I'm in my PS3 wheel, not the PlayStation Network wheel, not the PSN. So we got Resistance, 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 Fall of Man. That's the number one. I'm going to long press A, and I'm going to let go basically once I see the little loading screen. So here's the big thing I need everybody to understand, because some people are going to say, Hey Vic, Eugene has a super SSD computer and all that. Why is it going to take you know, four minutes for this game to launch? Uh, basically, I've never tested this game. This is a first-run game. And the big thing is that anytime you do a first-run game, the emulator has to run this compiling PPU modules. Uh, basically, it's installing modules in the background. Um, it only does this one time. Once you do this one time with this specific game, it will launch fast. So I did this on purpose so you could see this specifically. Some modules, like this game, for example, is only 74. Some games have like 200 modules. So... It might take, you know, two or three minutes to launch and such. But again, I, I want to show you this so that people don't get confused. The big thing right now is that Hyperspin isn't spazzing out. It launched the emulator. It thinks everything is good to go, so there's no need to worry and such. So as you can see right now, the uh, compiling is done. And let's see, hopefully, if this game will play. So again, using the Xbox controller. Keep in mind, we are using Xbox controller. It is a PlayStation game. So, for example, A is X, B is circle, X is square, and Y is triangle. Okay, so we got game audio, just checking out the game audio. And same thing, L1, L2, R1, R2. I have not tested this game at all. And the big thing is that I'm going to exit this game, and I'm going to relaunch the game. And I'm going to show you that it will boot very quickly because now that we did the compiling modules it's it's just set it's already done so in all honesty right now like that icon right there it's kind of technically thinking that it's installing in like the playstation um so sometimes it does need you know it's it, you might have a bar show up saying like installing game data and all that so let's load this up i wasn't a fan of this game uh this was the first game i got oh man oh okay 
Let's see what happens. So right now we're doing some more compiling. And now again, it, it, it's only going to do this, you know, one time, I believe. Um, let's just see what happens. It should bring me back into the game. Other games, I thought like it just would exit out and kind of just kick me out. Um, this looks like it's installing another set of uh, modules. So let's just see what happens. Again, first run of this game. So whatever you're seeing, I'm literally seeing and I'm literally experiencing. The so yes, began now we're back in. The origin of the virus is unknown, but its effects were devastating and swift. In the 1930s, so I right now can't skip. reports of biological experiments began leaking out of Russia. Then reports of villages destroyed overnight. Then entire cities. We feared the for several I'll probably like skip this in post so I don't waste your time. Okay guys, so that long cutscene ended. So now we're going to press start. So now behind the webcam, right behind me, it says compiling shaders. Um, so sometimes like when you launch a game it might come out like dark and it's like loading stuff uh, So right now it's not compiling anymore. So it looks like we're ready to go So R1 to fire Audio loud. Yeah, Again, we'll play this for a few minutes. So there's no run. Can I run? L2 to crouch. Okay. And again, I'm using the Xbox controller. R3 to zoom, so that works. Good. used to Call of Duty. Usually L1 is, L2 is a uh, aimed down the site. Where did my team go? Oh, okay. Real quick, I'm gonna press pause on this if I can. Not yet. Apparently not. So real quick, I'm gonna press pause on this, right? And I'm gonna save. And what happens with the emulator basically, you're gonna see it might bring me back to the desktop real quick. Let's see if it does that. Yeah. It brings me back and it's gonna bring me back into the game. It's basically something that the emulator is doing. Um, so real quick, again, this is kind of like the hassle. Um, you do need a button, um, it's a button combo to exit the emulator. And luckily I have that perfectly set. All you gotta do is you hold press the Xbox logo and you're literally back into hyperspin and back to work. That's it. So again, everything's set up on hyperspin. Now the big thing I do wanna do, let me lower this. 
So now the big thing that I do want to do is I'm going to show you now we're going to relaunch this game and you're going to see it'll boot back into that game. So I'm going to long press. I'm going to let go once I see the loading screen. I'm going to bump up the volume. And boom, there you go. See? So we didn't go through that whole PPU module thing and all that. So as you can see, I'm literally going to go back into the game. So I'll go into campaign. I'll go to continue. So this game, for example, it might bring me, yep, it's going to bring me back into here, and it's going to come back. And you can see real quick for that split second, it's almost like, um, you know, like the PS3 would, like, load up, like, the, if you press, like, the PlayStation button, it would load up, like, the screen. Um, I think that's what it's doing in the background, to be honest. But right now, I'm going to press start, and I'm back right where I'm at. So again, resistance. There's no sprint. But yeah, so there you guys have it. Resistance. So right now you could either save and continue, or I'm just gonna hold down the Xbox controller, the button, the X button, and then that's it. Now we're back in and we could control hyperspin. Um let's try another game which I was just playing before and I was very shocked by it. Um so again, using the controller. This apparently is a very underrated game. I was playing it, I played one match, and I was like, whoa. So, WWE All-Stars, I'm going to long press this. Loading Once I see complete. the loading screen, I can let go. And this is a game I loaded before, so you're going to see it's going to load right into the game. It shouldn't really give me any PPU modules. Boom, there you go. So again, I loaded this game before, no PPU modules. Once you do load the game one time, then you'll be set. So, WWE All-Stars, I didn't even know about this game until I saw it on that JAMA board. And um, when I was playing it on the JAMA board, it was like I didn't have any audio. So, let's see how this goes. So, again, X, it's a PlayStation. We're using Xbox controllers. I'm going to press A. Now, I don't know what the compatibility list is has this game marked as, but I was able to play one game on this and let's see, can I do a random? I'm surprised I can't just pick random. Okay. Again, still using, I just have the controller down. So again, as you can see, like some games like Resistance, see right behind me, it says compiling shaders. So some games like Resistance, when I loaded a game, it went back into the desktop real quick, or it had to load up more PPU modules. So, you know, right now though, we were able to play Resistance pretty smoothly, aside from that one PPU module thing that popped up, and it kind of freaked me out. Um, but for this right now, we're going to just skip this. If you smell this game, if this game was like an arcade cabinet game, this would be amazing. This is a, a pretty cool game. Very shocked by it. Oh, come on. So you can see like a couple things pop up, like L1 I had to press. Oh, I blocked that. I blocked that again. Oh. Okay, I'm getting a man's kicked. I press L1, damn it. Oh my goodness, I'm doing horrible right now in front of you guys. <laughs> Gravel. Wow. So, again, so you gotta like learn the buttons. R2, any button, launch a running attack. Okay. Oh my 
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god, was that just the rock bottom just now? It's got rock bottom. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, was it? I said a spine buster. Okay, how do I get out? Wow, the rock is just kicking my ass right now. I'm trying to remember how I got out of the ring. Oh, what was that? Just hold on, Rock. Jeez. <laughs> I did the same move before. But I'm literally getting my ass handed to me. Irish whip your opponent. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. I'm literally getting my ass kicked right now. <laughs> Charge strike. Okay, good reversal. Good reverse. Oh. We got a trophy. Okay, I want to do a different move than that. I forgot what button I had to press to get out. L2. Maybe it's L2. Yes, okay, it was L2. Ooh. Oof! <laughs> oh, no way! Oh, crap. <laughs> I want to reverse it. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, is that on the chair? L1, R1 to do a finisher? Wow. <laughs> Very arcade feel like that. It's just... Uh, Go for the pin, yep. Oh, really? Very arcade feel on this. Again, as you can see, gameplay. Very smooth on this. Transition to a different lockup. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, I have to work on my reversals. Oof. A single powerful move can end the match. Oh, man. Oh, hit me with a sharpshooter. Reach out. Oof. Come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Again, this is like definitely a very, very. I didn't even. I didn't know about this game. If I didn't see this game on Eugene's um, Jamma board, I wouldn't have known about it. Oh, he's gonna give me the people's elbow. Are you serious? Oh, come on! I reversed it. Oh my God! The rock bottom. There it is. That is it. Just got my ass handed to me right now. <laughs> but again, cool game on that. So right now, again, I'm gonna hold down the X controller. And there you have it. We are back into hyperspin let it regain focus um so now real quick like let's see one i'll show you one that i did try uh i did try the last of us and um it it didn't boot so i'll go to t so the thing i do highly probably suggest that you do have um like on your phone just have the compatibility list on you so i'll do the last of us and it didn't work for me and I know that the compatibility list did not launch. So I did launch this before, meaning I tried it. And this will not go through the PPU modules. So I got stuck at this screen, this last of us here, and then it kicked me out into the into hyperspin.
So let's just see if it will do that. Right now the screen is literally blank. Okay. <laughs> let's just see. I'm not going to get too hyped. But it does keep saying compiling shaders. We got a naughty dog. I'm going to load up again the RPCS3 compatibility list. Try to see maybe... Let's see. The Last of Us. So again, it's it's marked as in-game. Wow. Okay. Let's see. I don't think this is going to work. So I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be this, like, dark background. Create new. Let's see. So again, it just acts like a PlayStation 3. Some gold dust just shot out. <laughs> Still got gold dust coming. Again, I'm right now just trying to read if anybody has like any notes as far as uh you know why this game won't launch. So we do have something going on. Again, I tried this game before I even streamed and it just kicked me out to the desktop. So right now it's doing something. Last of us game development following known issues we got a loading screen now okay okay <laughs> okay wow okay so now is there a way that I could I'm gonna skip this movie just for our Saturday and again right behind me let me take off my webcam if I can uh, 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 no webcam you can literally see like you saw it there real quick it said compiling shaders so that pops up. Hello? Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy. Okay, so I want to just skip this. Can I skip this? Let's Stay see. on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what, what time is it? Oops, 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 I'm sorry. I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? So now, I don't know if the game is supposed to be dark like this. I don't remember. I played this game, but I don't totally remember now. I mean, we do have game audio. What was that all about? I could press pause. <laughs> so, compiling shaders. I'm moving now. But as you can see, there's definitely... That's why we have an in-game error. So this game is just not... It's not ready. It's It's not at all. This apparently is not supposed to be a blank screen. So, again, The Last of Us, if you do go on the compatibility list, it is marked as in-game. So, it doesn't work. I'm going to hold down my Xbox controller button. Okay, so I just, again, I'm, I'm usually... Anytime you see a cut, it's like I'm just going to go and see a game. Um, so, we're going to try real quick Metal Gear Solid HD Edition. That is a playable one. So, let's go to M. Ooh, even Max Payne, I should see that. So, Metal Gear Solid. Like this one here, Rising Revengeance. It's marked as in-game, so that might not launch, so I don't want to do that one. I'm going to do Metal Gear Solid HD... It's either HD Collection or Edition. This says Metal Gear Solid HD Edition. So we're going to try Metal Gear Solid HD Again, Loading long press complete. on the A. I have not loaded this game, so I don't know if it's going to run. So as you can see, we have a PPU thing going. We're going to let it do its thing. And again, like I said, you just got to let it do its do it first time, let it do it one time, and then usually end game you have no issues. So as you can see, see I picked something, it brought me back to the desktop because it needs to do more PPU modules. And as you can see there, it's 
out of 171. So again, once you do it one time, it should be A-OK -okay and set for the future. But again, I do want to show you this, um, you know, so you could actually really see how this works. Okay, so the last PPU module get installed, so here we go. And again, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. HD Collection is marked good and playable on the website. In the game. I've honestly never. Uh, I've played one on the PS3. I've played a Metal Gear Solid, and I'll be honest, I, I lost focus and I wasn't a fan of it so much. <laughs> After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Just skipping. Hm. Don't want to get the gameplay. Okay, just skipping. Do you copy? You're already in. Just skipping. Okay. So again, using my sticks. Where am I going? <laughs> I was going to jump off that clip. Pressing all the buttons to figure out what's next. Where am I going? I guess I have to jump off this cliff? Okay, maybe not. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I hate games that just don't give you any, like, um. Like, help me. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, where am I going? Can somebody tell me where I'm supposed to go right now? Oh, how did I crouch? Okay. Okay, we have to crouch underneath here. Okay, that would have taken me some time to figure out, to be honest. <laughs> Again, don't judge me. Call. Okay. Getting a phone call. Probably should have watched that. I I probably should have watched it. <laughs> okay, that's this. Lord, <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody play this game for me. Don't judge me, guys. <laughs> I shouldn't have picked this game. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do to get that? <laughs> oh. No, don't. I threw it. 
<laughs> Where I threw it, nobody will know. I just want to climb the street. <laughs> what? Am I gonna move the? Th what the hell is happening? Oh man, this I'm <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna exit because I'm just embarrassing myself right now. <laughs> I'm I'm quitting this game. <laughs> Again, low press on that. That was bad. That was embarrassing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me load up the list. Hold on. Let's see what else we can play. Okay, so we're gonna try real quick the Legend of Spiro. Spiro Spiral. So what let's see if it's under the. That? The dragon, yes. So again, long press on that. Loading complete. And again, on the compatibility list, this is marked as playable. So let's see what happens. So again, I haven't tested this game at all. We go through the PPU modules. At this point, I'm just going to jump ahead uh, once the game loads. This way, we don't waste any data and we won't waste your time. Okay, PPU modules were done. Now we are in this loading screen, I guess. And now again, like I said, this game was marked playable on the compatibility list. So again, I'm just pressing start. I've never played uh, this series, to be honest, my wife has. Even in the darkest of times. So you can see there, like, the monster appeared and it says compiling shaders. So usually, like, once it first starts, it doesn't even compile. Okay. to give that kudos to uh, his PC. It's almost like in the beginning of that, it's like uh, God of War. We have to break this thing. It's holding us down. Goodness. 
Wow. <laughs> it's a rough day. It's a rough day for me. Try it again. Sorry, sorry. I keep pressing start. Oh, I keep pressing start. <laughs> slowing us down. We can't fight it. We'll have to move in unison. Follow my lead. Why should you lead? Uh-oh. Take cover! Okay. Good idea. You lead. First, Cinder, it's safer. For me. Safer for me, I mean. Quiet. You'll give us away. So you can see like you see the save game, this is like the actual PlayStation 3. So we're good to go. I'm gonna do maybe one or two more minutes of this.
that's uh, Spyro, so I could hold down the Xbox button. And then we're back. Uh, so we'll try another one real quick. The Bigs 2. Again, never Loading tried this. Complete. Compatibility list marks it as playable. So, let's see if this launches. So as you can see, again, different games have different amount of modules. Okay, that one loaded. Let's see what's happening. So I'm not going to create an account right now. I'm just flying through this, so uh, I don't get hit any hit with any uh, monetizing for the sound. Or the Hello, everyone. I'm Damon Bruce. Welcome to Fenway Park. Tonight's game is between the two. Let's get this one Again, started. I'm skipping. Jose Reyes. So you can literally see it said it says compiling shaders, and you see like Jose Reyes just loaded up. So let's see. Swing well, and a miss. Strike one. Gonna grab a quick Instagram video for this. We got the bigs going. PlayStation 3 emulation. Tried to challenge the hitter with that pitch, and he lost. Wright is due up. He does everything well. This pitcher better be careful. David Wright. This guy can mess you up. Oh, what a hit! Back up the middle. He pitched to his strength, and that is a mistake. Delgado is up next. Runners on first swing. and second. Huh? One down. Oh, Strike I should have wrecked that. <laughs> oh, what? Inside corner for the strike. Oh. Delgado goes down swinging. It's all right, it's all right. Do up next, Carlos Beltran. They better stay away from him. He crushes inside pitching. Oh. See, I'm Strike hitting the two. circle now because now I see it. I'm not going to hit circle anymore. Here comes the pitch. Wow. <laughs> it's brutal. It's brutal, guys. I'm sorry. Stepping in for the first time, Jacoby Ellsbury. Here's the first oh, pitch. Oh, shit. Ellsbury's okay, in there and has himself right. a leadoff single. Pedroia is up next. Most hitters struggle with pitches high and outside. Not this guy, Oppo Power. He's running back. Ellsbury's rounding second. Oh shit. Wow. One run comes in. <laughs> Alright, leave it to me. Leave it to, to me. Nothing. Ortiz is coming up. Man on first. Nobody out. He's going. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he got all of that one. <laughs> so, uh, I can't play fighting games. I can't play sport games. I can't play platformers like Euro. I can't play metal metal. <laughs> I can't play metal games. Kevin Euclid. Well, it's rough. Could he take that pitch? It was right there. That was rough. There. That was a rough, rough, rough game right now. Frozen road to the outfield. Come on, team. Euclid is the board for the single. Rough. Bottom of the first. Rough game. Nobody out. Jason. His first pitch. Out of play. Oh shit. Oh, of course. <laughs> Picked up at the wall. Over to first. No, oh, the umpire okay, says I got lucky on that. Drew is due up. Man on second. One away. Man aboard, and the first pitch is a ball. Ball two. That's a strike inside corner. 
Oh, what's up with this turbo thing? What's gonna happen? Just in the zone, strike two. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Oh. Called for a ball. Full count at three and two. Oh shit. I didn't know that was gonna happen. <laughs> I didn't know what was gonna happen. <laughs> Damn it. Runners on first and third. One away. He's chasing it down. Die for it. What the hell? Wow, brutal guys, I'm so sorry. Literally embarrassing myself. Not in time. Runner six. It's five. <laughs> I literally can't play. Lowry is stepping in. Runner on third. One down. I've even run Change out of pitches to throw. Low. One and two. <laughs> High and inside. Counts two and two. Foul ball. Reyes is all over. Throw it. Okay, that was cool. I got it. Final. Oh, he wounded. <laughs> well, it looks like he'll be able to stay in the game, but I can bet you he'll take a couple aspirin when he gets to the dugout. I never played this game. It's like NFL ball Blitz ball versus ball in baseball. Totally overmatched. No chance What's at up all. with this turbo? Swing and a miss, strike two. Delivers a changeup, ball two. Ump says it's a ball. We've gone to a full count at three and two. Tracked down by Castillo. And we go to the top of the second. Boston leads by five. All right. One more inning. Next up, Ryan Church. <laughs> and he feasts on outside oh, pitching. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> It's like helping me, <laughs> and I still can't hit. Stepping in for the first time, Gary Sheffield. Wow. Not gonna get any better looking pitches than that. Nope. Fastball Lord. inside corner for the strike. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yo, embarrassing. Schneider is stepping up. Not much power. He'll be lucky if he can get it out of the infield. Strike one. What's happening? <laughs> that was no why I didn't even swing. Why? Oh, two hole. Not Just, gonna happen. Strike three. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more pitch and that's it. <laughs> Ellsbury is up next. He is one for one on the deck. Boom! Swing it him in. Strike one. Yo, this team is crushing me. It's all right. Xbox button out. Swing him in. Strike one. <laughs> Okay, I just thought of a game that I never played, but I did want to play it. It was Kane and Lynch. And this shows Kane and Lynch. Deadman is playable, so. Let's load this Loading one. Loading complete. Again, basing it really off of the compatibility list. We're gonna let modules load. Again, first time loading games. You will have to put these modules and such, so it might take a minute or two. Alright, so Kana Lynch loaded. Again, using the Xbox controller. And then let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see any other games. So we're going to just skip into this. I never played this game. I wanted to play this game um, when I had the PlayStation, but I never got it. Mr. Kane, wake up. Mr. Kane, what? I need you to cover your head. What did you say? Just cover your head now! Your 
Okay, you got shook so, up pretty bad. What the fuck is going okay, on? This game's marked playable. Advise you to do as you're fucking told. Who the fuck are you to talk to me like that? Your glory days are long gone, old timer. And stop feeling sorry for yourself. Truck is down. We'll need another way out. Go on. We have a problem. We need a new pickup. And we are back into hyperspin. So like I said, let me know if you guys want to see any other videos or any specific games. But there you have it, PlayStation 3.